Do you remember the video I made about the pressure we put on ourselves on keeping the sketchbook? This one is sort of a continuation to the sketchbook journey struggles. So, in short, I need to get some new art supplies. I've had some new ideas for my sketches, I also wanted to experiment with some new materials and repurchase things I like using. I probably wouldn't normally do a video about it, but as getting my supplies this time became a whole train trip and I got some pretty nice stuff, here I am. My favorite art store got closed. And as I learned, it was because of the rental prices and electricity crisis. Rent prices in Amsterdam are through the roof right now, but I was determined to buy my art supplies in an actual store rather than online. Does it also happen to you uh, with all the online shopping that sometimes you just want to go to an actual store and have a good look at everything and see things for yourself? I decided to actually travel from Amsterdam to The Hague to get my art supplies. The store I went to was pretty awesome. It was the biggest one I've been to in years and they had everything you might need for painting, drawing, making models, mixing your own paint, making sculptures, jewelry, whatever you need. I loved being in a well-equipped place just browsing the art supplies as I really think you never know what will spark your imagination and inspire you. So the first things on my shopping list were water brushes. I got those two. This was actually the cheapest one I found. This one I think has a bit more quality. So let me show you. This one is a really small one. I wanted something that could be pretty precise. And I think I wanted to grab a medium one, but actually I bought a broad one. So let's see how this one looks. So actually, I've never had uh, one of those and I saw many of artists using this. I think those are especially helpful when you draw or paint outside of your home or outside of your studio. And actually this year I was going a lot out to a park to draw and paint. And let me show you, for example, this sketch that I made, one of many. So here in the sketch, I just used the, my drinking uh, water that I brought with me, but uh, I was really missing one of those, which is such a nice and comf comfortable solution when you are, you know, just painting outside. So that's definitely something that I will be uh, taking with me when I'm traveling or just painting outside in my sketchbook. Something that I wasn't really planning on buying is this masking fluid. I just grabbed it quickly because it was right under the, the brushes that I just showed you. Um, so I thought I would just try it out. I saw also many illustrators use this to map and mask the places so that they don't get stained and that they don't get paint overdose. Uh, I'm very curious about how it will work. If you've been using any kind of masking fluid, let me know in the comments. Another thing that I got are those uh, pretty standard pencils, ex pencil extenders. I am not sure really if I need those, but under all my videos uh, where I draw and use my teeny tiny bits of color pencils and graphic pencils, you always tell me to, to get those and they're supposed to make working with those last pieces of pencils so much easier. So let's open those. I've got two of those. One is for a thinner pencil and another one for a bit thicker one. So let's see how those work. You can really tell that I'm using those for the first time because I have no idea which one of my pencils is the thinner and which one is the thicker one, but I think this is how it should be. So I just put the, one of the pencils inside. This is how it looks. And we will just try it out and see if it's really uh, more comfortable this way. I think it should be. 
My favorite thing that I got uh, are those color inks. So uh, on my shopping list, I had a black ink because this is one of the art medium that I really enjoy and really like using. And if you watch a video that I made about my first sort of serious sketchbook that I had, you will see that they, they were a lot of ink drawings in there and ink, ink paintings. I realized that I grabbed the acrylic ink one, but I'm very curious to try it out and see how it behaves and how it looks. So I got this in black as I wanted to, but then I also found this beautiful shade of dark violet, which I think will go amazingly with a personal project that I'm working on. You can see on my Instagram that I'm developing a story and I'm illustrating a story of a bat called Mugo and I'm keeping all my illustrations in this kind of dark violet navy blue shade and I think by mixing those two I can get something very similar so I'm very curious to see how it looks. My first contact actually with those colored inks was a couple of months ago when I bought myself those three primary, primary colors this is a different brand, I think. Yes, it's a different brand. And since then, I only use them once uh, just to see how they behave. I can show you uh, a sketch that I think you already know. It's actually this one. Uh, so this was my first contact with uh, working with acrylic inks. And uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm, very, I'm very excited to try those ones out. This is something that I actually didn't buy uh, at the store, but I was gifted. This is, maybe you will find it funny, but this is my, my first, very first set of professional watercolors. I had my first experience with watercolors many, many years ago, but as watercolors are really hard to master, I think, and they're very hard, at least for me, to control how they flow. I think I just got scared and I never, really experimented more with them and this is something that I really want to do. I wanted it to be um, very small, very handy, very basic and just comfortable um, to take out with me and um, I also wanted to get paints of good quality because my first experience with watercolors was with paints, um, you know, very cheap ones and I think maybe that had something to do with my poor experience at the time. Let me know if you have um, tried this brand when it comes to watercolors. Speaking of working with paints, I got this very simple and very basic uh, brush stand just to avoid making more mess than I usually do. Something that I always get and buy when I'm in an art store are brushes and some color pencils. This is what I got this time. I love those pens and I always use those when I need some very small white details in my illustrations and sketches. So I always grab one because not all art stores have one of those. Here I got just one um, graphic pencil, a pretty smooth one and soft one. I always get tiny brushes I receive a lot of questions about what kind of brushes I use. I always use the synthetic ones. Honestly, I always grab the cheapest ones because I know that it's just a matter of time as they, as they open up at the top and they're not as precise as they should be. Uh, but still, they last me for a pretty long time and I really like those. So yeah, basically the most, the cheapest ones and synthetic brushes, those, this is uh, what I always go for. I got three of those. And I always tend to choose, as you can see, a very similar color palette. Those are just the colors that uh, catch my eye the most. And I got three different brands to try them out as always. Uh, I already know the Luminance ones and those are beautiful, really well saturated and vibrant color pencils and I can really recommend them. And I'm also very curious about this one because this one is, um, I think, along the lines of using a dry pastel colors. So I think this will be, this will have a similar effect. Because I bought so many things, I was gifted from the shop this set of 
watercolor paper postcards that I really like. And those are just um, postcard size um, watercolor pencil sheets that you can use. The last thing I wanted to show you, it's not really what I, what I bought in the art store, but this is something that I found um, when visiting for the last time my parents' uh, house. I found this old set of oil pastels and I thought of taking it with me to give it another chance and to see how I like them after so many years have passed. Guys, so this is all when it comes to my um, recently bought treasures. I am very excited to be trying all of them out. Please let me know uh, if you see any of your favorite things in here, if you have something that you would like to recommend um, to me and to others. And thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.